guys, I've got two questions for you. Two questions. The first one, if you have kids, I want you to think about this question. When you look at them, what's the one thing that you want them to know? Oh, I know, I know, I know. There's probably a ton of things that you want them to know. You want them to know that you love them. You want them to know that you care about them. But beyond that, what's the one thing that you want them to know? Let me ask another question. When you were a kid, what's the one thing that you wanted to know from your parents? For me, when I look at my kids, I want them to know that I am for them. It's the one thing that I wanted to know from my parents and my coaches. I wanted them to be for me. You see, when you are for someone, you want the best for them. You love them. You care about them. You believe in them. You will stand up for them and do all that you can do to help them succeed. It's the one thing that I wanted my students to know when I was a youth pastor, a juvenile probation officer, and a director at the Boys and Girls Club. And as a parent, it's the one thing that I want my kids to know from me without a shadow of a doubt. When you know that someone is for you, you can go a little bit farther. You can push a little bit harder. You can get through some of the toughest times of your life. When you know that someone is for you, there's not much else that matters. You have a confidence that they love you and care about you. It's moving. It's comforting. Because there's a security in knowing that you have someone in your corner. We all want to know that our boss is for us. That would be amazing. We want to know that our spouse is for us. We want to know that we have friends that are for us. We want people in our lives that are for us. It's not just a kid thing. Even as adults, we want and crave for there to be people in our life that are for us. But there are times where we may not feel like we have anyone in our corner. We've all been there. When we don't have anyone for us. If that's you today, I want you to hear this. God is for you. Check this out. It's in Ezekiel chapter 36 verses 8 through 10. And it says this, But you, mountains of Israel, will produce branches and fruit for my people Israel, for they will soon come home. See, I am for you, and will look upon you with favor. You will be plowed and sown, and I will cause many people to live on you. Yes, all of Israel. The towns will be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. I don't know where you're at today. 2020 has been interesting. It's been tough for a lot of people. And sometimes it feels like we can't catch a break. For many, it seems like there aren't many people that are for them. We've all been there. You might feel empty or in despair. And if that's you today, please hear this. God is for you. But, but, but if you only knew who I am, if you know what I've done, the people that I've hurt, cursing God and turning my back on him, there's no way that he's for me. I understand and also know that myself and others also have a history 
a past just like everybody else. But know this, God is still for you. That verse in Ezekiel, God had previously been against Israel. His judgment had been upon them. But he's telling them now that he's for them. This change wasn't because God changed. Just as God had previously visited Israel with judgment, because of their sin, he would also visit Israel with grace and mercy because of their repentance. And the same is true for us. When we turn to Jesus, we no longer receive judgment. We receive grace and mercy. When we turn to Jesus, God is for us. I don't know where you're at today. I don't know if you have anyone that is for you. I don't know what's going on in your life. But I do know this, when we turn to Jesus, God is for us. God doesn't promise that we won't have struggles. He doesn't promise that everything will be perfect. And he doesn't promise that we won't go through hard times. But he does promise that if we turn to Jesus, he promises that he will be for us. Romans 8.31 says this, What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Know this. When we turn to Jesus, when you turn to Jesus, when I turn to Jesus, God is for us. And God is for you.